major. And I think, did you talk physics too? Just chemistry, right? Not physics, just chemistry, right? I had one chemistry course, I got a C in it, and that was the end of my scientific career here. <laughs> and Susan's one to always help. We were talking to the folks in Philly, and uh, I think the issue was, of all things, we couldn't get potato chips to Afghanistan. So the Philly guys are telling me, Admiral, we can't get, and this is, we're folks that do anything, right? We can't get potato chips to Afghanistan because potato chips can't fly. Now, I have heard some pretty tall tales in 37 years about why things aren't the way they are. In fact, I, might, I probably made up most of those stories. But that was a pretty good story. So, of course, Steve Shapiro's briefing me, and of course, I'm, I'm messing with him because I'm thinking, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. He just got that from some GS9 who ran out of potato chips that we can't fly potato chips. <laughs> You could, you could start a potato farm over there and have potato chips. So, one to always help out a shipmate. I mean, Susan could have just been silent, cause, but she leaps to the, to the assistance of her fellow general officer, Steve Shapiro. So using all of her chemistry knowledge, uh, Susan tells Steve to shut up and sit down. I got this, Steve, okay? So Susan tells me now that um, the reason we can't fly potato chips, because apparently when flying at a certain altitude and the cargo bay is not pressurized and the climate inside the aircraft goes from frigid cold to desert hot and the earth spins at a particular speed <laughs> and the moon rises at a certain time, potato chip bags suddenly burst in flight. And that's why we're completely unable to fly them where we want to go. And I didn't have any response to that. <laughs> Probably because I got a C in chemistry. <laughs> and you know what? I, again, I had no idea if she was right or wrong, but Susan did. And uh, when you sound confident, you know, that's really, when you're a general officer or an admiral, that's a lot of all it takes, you know? And I was sort of speechless. So Susan gave me a great dissertation that would have made Albert Einstein very proud. In fact, in our little pre-reception here, I was looking for something to eat. Susan told me, eat something that's cold. Uh, and I said, why is that? She said, well, you know, the stuff that puts weight on is calories, and calories is a measure of heat. So if you eat food that's cold, there's no calories in it. <laughs> And then she also told me if you break the cookies in half, the calories fall on the floor. So I'm going to take a lot of cookies with me. So I think we wound up fixing it with filling the, filling the potato chip bags full of nitrogen. That's an inert gas, I'm told. I don't know what that means. Like it's a gas that's not ert, I guess. Um, and I don't remember how we did it, but uh, we didn't talk about potato chips much longer. So you got the... SDDC, Mike, and the Army, um, you're getting a great officer back that uh, if you have any problem with logistics, it's solved. And if you have a chemistry issue, <coughs> Susan's ready to fix it. So, And I, I could go on and on, but we'd be here all morning and my hands are starting to get cold. Uh, but Scott Air Force Base awaits this great general officer, Susan Davidson. So Susan, uh, the time has flown by. Um, if I have a big smile on my face up here, it's, 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 uh, it's not because I'm not hot, it's because your gang up here has just done a great, great job. And uh, people often ask me, Admiral, what keeps you awake at night? And I tell them, nothing. And people think, man, this guy must be really stupid or just completely unaware because there's a lot of crap going on. You had to be awake all night. Well, I don't, I'm not, you know, I, I sort of pay attention. And the reason I sleep so well at night is because of uh, general officers and senior civilians and all 27,000 great employees, uh, the 7,000 folks we have in DLA distribution that I don't know what comes our way. I don't even think about it because um, I know we're going to crush it. You know, you've watched the movie Godzilla last week. The new movie Godzilla is good. Well, uh, Susan has been Logzilla up here in central Pennsylvania, just crushing logistics problems. I don't care what they are. So, Rich, that's enough about Susan. Let me just transition to you. I have another 15 pages here of uh, General Richard.